स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेसन नंबर नाइनटीन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड पार्ट टू इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर स्टडी अबाउट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मैग्नेट सिंगल टच मैथड एंड डबल टच मैथड एंड अर्थ और जाइन जाइंटिक मैग्नेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट अ मैग्नेटिक नीडल टेक अ स्क्वेयर कार्डबोर्ड एंड मार्क द डायरेक्शन ऑन इट Place a pot filled with water at the center of the cardboard. With water at the center of the cardboard, take a magnetized needle. Stick to a small pieces of a cardboard by means of a sticking tape. Place a piece of cardboard with a needle on the surface of the water in the pot. In which direction does the magnetized needle point? Magnetic lines of force of the earth magnet are tangential to the ground at a both the poles of the earth. Therefore. Near the geographic north pole of the Earth, the magnetic the magnetic needle can freely rotate, will settle nearly vertically. That means it will settle nearly polar to the ground. Its north pole will be toward to the towards the ground, and south pole will be in the upward direction. In any place, why does the magnetic needle of a compass not settle parallel to the ground, but at an angle to it? Because A compass needle aligns itself with the Earth's three-dimensional magnetic field close to the Earth. This will be pretty much parallel to the ground, but as to get as to get closer to the either, but as to get closer to either the north or south magnetic poles, the needle begins to dip. The amount that the needle dips is known as a dip angle or an angle of inclination. Magnetic field. Let's try an activity. apparatus a bar magnet pins cardboard iron filling plastic bottle bucket water procedure take a bar magnet and some pins place them at a such a distance from each other that they do not stick to each other now slowly move the magnet towards the pin observe the pin as they as they get pulled to the magnet the magnet attracts the needles from afar in other words a magnet has an effect even at a distance take a small cardboard place a bar magnet take a bar magnet at its center sprinkle iron fillings on the cardboard around the magnet tap the cardboard gently and observe the iron fillings what is the inference from the above experiment the british researcher michael faraday named this lines going from one end of a bar magnet to the other other magnetic lines magnetic lines of force the region around a magnet where the magnetic force act on an object is called a magnetic field magnetic field around a magnet can, so, can be shown by means of magnetic lines of force the intensity of the magnetic fields magnetic field at a place can be gauged by the number of lines of a force that pass through a unit area at that places at that place perpendicular to that area michael faraday imagined that there might be invisible lines of force going from one poles of a magnet to the other and that magnetic attraction or repulsion might be taking place to the medium of this line of lines of force if faraday idea is accepted the intensity of a magnetic field can be obtained from the number of lines of force as explained above the intensity of a magnetic field is low where the line of force are sparse and the intensity is high where the lines of force are concentrated so in next video we are going to study about properties of magnetic lines of force thank you